Bloody admin's not ready. Admin, wake up. Jesus Christ, we're ready. Start the game already. Start the game already. Absolute Age of Empires 2 classic. Oh my god, hurry up. I need a, a faster speed through button, clearly. Three times speed is fine for like in the rounds, but I need uh, like 10 times speed. Uh, dealing with these pauses and sh wait, there we go. Uh, right, just really quick summary of that first half. Um, pretty even back and forth between the two sides. I like Dentropic's range of different looks on the CT side. I think they had a lot of different approaches, um, a lot of different gimmicks, a lot of different ways to put a little bit of pressure on the T's, which is, I think, hard for the CT side on Dust2. Um, G2's T side was good in patches, good in rounds, a couple of good adjustments to what Entropic were doing, but I think some poor economy management for sure towards the middle of the half. Uh, one round where they kind of did the Navi long thing and it just was not, it gave me no conviction that they can play like that. Um, yeah, that's mainly it. So I think an even half is probably fair. If anything, Entropic probably deserved to win the half. But like I say, G2 getting a little bit lucky at the start of the game. Probably should have given them a half win. A little bit of poor economy management meant Entropic came out. But in, in general, two pretty evenly matched sides, I'd say, so far. Um, if, again, with the caveat, I thought Entropic CT side gave me a little bit more confidence than G2 C side. Right. What are we going to see from Entropic? Elian got the long spawn. Has he got P2? No, he doesn't. He's got a block. I thought he might be uh, P250 up for this. They they sometimes P250 Elian on the pistol rounds. Sometimes Elian buys it itself. I don't know if I've seen him uh, juggernauted, you know, like raid bossed with the um, where he buys armor. Someone else buys P250 and drops it. Okay, so full long. Uh, Entropic again going for a bit of a Na'vi. The thing you can guarantee is that everybody can get involved in a peak. Wow, that was kind of wild before us to make that work. So many times. Oh my god, Forrest is a nice nickelback. There's a fight happening here. Oh my god. Okay, that are completely wild. Everyone long, everyone fights, a million flashbangs. Except Jax, I think, was the only guy not involved. Uh, there's a knife in it. Yeah. That's not around you analyze too much. That's just. Yeah. A big old brawl at long. Someone's gonna win. Someone's gonna lose. I don't mind it as a. I don't mind it from the T's making it 50 50. I think the T uh, pistol is not the kindest uh, for Dust 2. Dust 2 is pretty unkind as T pistols go. It's not super easy. So they've Hero AK'd Forrester. Don't mind this because they're gonna eco next anyway. I assume. Or maybe they'll go for Force next, actually, because G2 will be... Again, the hero gets... Man, I, I'm not the biggest fan of these hero AK rounds. I feel like they don't get the most done in pro games. And quite often, I don't feel pro teams actually set up their hero AK well enough. Like, someone's got to be ahead of that hero AK there. Yeah, Nico just squishing people. Like, he gets nothing done in the end. And the hero AK is a waste of everyone's time. Didn't even really get any eco damage done. And now G2 uh, can actually go and find that AK and save it. So yeah, I, I actually this just actually fucks them. Yeah, no, no hero AK on the second round because like you're just giving that AK away like 65, 70, 75% of the time at least. Yeah, Nickelback like, please, I want the AK back! And are G2 going to get the AK? How did G2 not save that AK? Okay. The detail's going a bit awry here. Monacy having a huge game, by the way. Wow, 20 frags already. Nico having a big one as well, 19. Good games from star players. Pretty even across the board for Entropic. It often is like this, where it's, it's actually fairly even across the board for them. So now we have a buy round. Oh, janky as heck because they went for that hero AK. Whatever. Uh, some poor economy management for Entropic here on their T side, in my honest opinion. So, an emphasis long for G2. Are they going to just set one up? Yep, who's going to be the man? Alexi B is the man set up. And, yep, pretty standard. It looks like 
A delayed long take is the order of business here for Entropic. So basically, waiting for G2 to set up their one man on the long they're going to go and give that man a Trading utility, don't think they'll cancel. They have no map control mid at all. Crad is just making sure the tons push is not a thing. So yeah, 100% committed on this uh, on this long play. Alexi just retreating, giving up long. Oh, oh, risky. Yeah, so risky. Has to just go CT there. Yeah, even as he was doing it, that was risky as hell. Like, why would why would Entropic slow it down and not get out there and try and catch you retreating? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that from Alexi. Think that's bad decision making. So G2, I think looking to actually kind of control short. Yeah, going for kind of a retakey. Although it looks like Crad might get no G2 are too aware. Yeah, G2 far too aware. Far too aware. So it looks like Lucky might be able to get somewhere and get the one down. Maybe. Yeah, G2 don't actually know whether. Okay, now they've heard from Hunter, but that's a good Molly. Will Entropic know to get the bomb down nice and quick? Yeah, here we go. Is Hunter going to try any jumpy juice? No. Hunter, Hunter's not a jumpy man. Oh, it's going to be really easy. Yeah. Uh, so not bad from Entropic to get the bomb down, but Janky by G2 kind of fully aware of what's going on fairly early. Maybe they needed to speed up that long hit a little bit. Maybe if they just had better weaponry, they, it would have been a closer round. So, uh, Entropic looking rough now in this game, actually. D2 should be able to get up to 12 here. This is starting to look a little rough for Entropic. Um, they've purchased down a decent chunk here, but the loss bonus is built up, so no stresses there. Might as well give themselves a little bit of something to work with in the rounds. Again, fairly standard. Nico playing for Infinity Four. Funding is util. Mm, aggressive. A lot of uh, onus on Nico there. With not a lot of assistance, actually. There weren't even people that close mid to help him out. A bit bold from Nico there, I would suggest. If uh, if Entropic just absolutely rush him down on short, then he's not really got any assistance. So, putting a lot of uh, emphasis on Nico's shoulders there. Yeah, not much being done here. Just trading lots of bullets and utility for map control. Entropic have bugger piss all in terms of utility. A R. But it looks like Crad might get out long. So yeah, just an A crunch. Pretty standard stuff. G2 got three here. Should be able to trade well into this. Ooh, okay, the smoke is enough to deter them. Crad still... Yeah, so they're kind of just hoping G2 do something stupid. Honestly, they're just hoping they catch G2 looking for some info. Maybe make a pick with one of those scouts in mid. Trying to just get as much info as they can be as annoying as they can, drain out as much utility as they can, and they get both down, I'm sure. So Nickelback came and threw, like, the babyest of fakes. So hopefully get, like, an A player move. Didn't work. Yeah, it's whatever. G2 handled it well. Um, I think a lot of this stems from Entropic's hero AK buy on the second. It, it kind of hamstrung their economy. Um... Up until this point, this is the first time they've got like a proper buy round in the second half, and we're on round five of the second half. Yeah, not thrilling me, if I'm honest. Again, think that's some weak economy management. These boys need to get some bankers in, some investors. Teach them how to use their money. Teach them how to use it good, because. This game has, I think, seen. I, I think G2s was more egregious. Entropics wasn't so bad, but again, the way they used that hero AK didn't feel like they were setting their hero AK up for success, really, so eh, not the biggest fan. Right. Uh, I don't know why I'm sat here. Whoa, what, what is F5 doing? Is that quicker than F6? Or are they the same? Mm. Oh, G2 with the lower push. Oh, they do a little, like, delayed version of it. Okay, really interesting. It's interesting that the teams seem to have like both gone for this when they're all in lower. Like, it's, it's very interesting. 
G2 doing a more passive approach to it though, where Monacy will take the first shot from the back and then the third. Okay, that's not the way it's supposed to work. Monacy is supposed to take the third shot from the back, but that works too. That works too for two. And then the upper player comes. Yes, that was a really, really good uh, crunch from G2. Like that setup a lot. Awesome stuff. Good work. It worked better than Entropics did, so... Oh my god, for a second I was like, why aren't you shooting? But Nico's on his team, that's why he's not shooting him. That's why I'm not a pro player, boys. I'd be TKing all over the gaff. Right, we're not going to um, sit through the whole of this one. We're going to do some speedy Gonzalez through it, because this is just going to be G2 waiting to catch... Uh, sorry, Entropic waiting to catch a G2 player pushing greedily, but they're not going to, so this one will just be a save for the two Entropic players... They haven't got a huge amount of cash in the next. Probably will go for a buy, I think. Because otherwise, what are you doing next round anyway? Yep, there's the buy. So yeah, this is dire straits for Entropic. They're not going to have the best buy again. A little bit light on the utility. Not drastically so, but, you know, a little bit. Whereas G2 have everything and are starting to build up a hell of a bank. I don't know how G2 lose this game from here, if I'm honest. G2 are in the driver's seat. Um... And probably going to have to start doing something special. Or G2. No man's down there. Yeah, not not great. Um, I think that's probably a little bit of an experience from Mona C there. Um, probably either needed to fight or get out of dodge. Just got caught in between the two. I feel. And Tropic a little bit quicker on what they're doing here. Oh, Hunter's very close to the backstep. Yeah, okay, so I like this a bit picking up the a bit more and not getting stuck on long. Nico's gonna die. Oh no, he's not. Wow, Nico got the How is Nico doing so well here? Hunter on the backstab. Lackey gets the kill. Ellie needs to find Hunter probably. Oh. This is an interesting round actually. I like the pickup of the pace from Entropic though. It didn't allow G2 to get so set in the way they were handling that hit. And so it was just a bit messier. It gave Entropic more gaps, more more potential to kind of catch a CT off guard. So I like Jackson Hunter grouping up here. I think Elian's going to be watching for this. Yeah. Where's Lucky going? What's Lucky up to? Is he just having to investigate CT? Okay. Oh, now they've undoubled up and Hunter's going CT. Oh my god, how does Hunter win that? Wow. Lackey heard that, man. Should not have been 100 years. Oh, Elian's going to win this clutch. Hunter's low. You hear him? They heard each other. Hunter's staying on his tail. Counter terrorists win. Didn't see the time. Didn't see the time myself there. Yeah, Hunter just stayed just close enough to Elian that Elian was always going to be uncomfortable trying to put the bomb down. Well played by Hunter, honestly. Maybe Elian could have, like, just gassed it to the bomb site and actually given himself a chance to plant. But normally I'm pretty pissed off if the guy doesn't even give himself a chance to plant. But I think that was one of those situations where actually, yeah, you can go either way on that. Early in the round. Elian on the AK, five AKs. They've basically got long control for free here. So this is big. I think if you can get long control like very early in the rounds, it's a pretty important part of Dust 2. It just the, the CTs have their options reduced drastically by it. Nico playing Fimfo in mid. He doesn't have to jump that high, does he? I think he's exposing more of himself than he needs to on these jump peaks. Details, but details are important in pro count strike. So it looks like uh, Entropic are going to go for the long hit. Yeah, they're probably going to go like now because Crab just got seen in tons. So they, they need to go because they have no map control. Like they need to do something now. Nearly get some damage down. Modus is going to get at least one. Yeah, this round's done so. Oh, like, obviously, I, I I didn't watch this uh, series. Um, I think I saw it. Okay, now they're coming alive. Okay, now they're looking like Na'Vi on the long hit. Let's go, boys. Now that was some firepower. 
That's what you need for those long hits, man. If you're going to play long like that, where you, like, slow it down, and you slowly creep, and you clear each angle methodically, and, like, you invite the CTs, like, come fight us. You need to have the... The aim, quite frankly, to back it up. And, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff from Entropic. So, yeah, that was just shit. Entry power. Just, just, they... Clicked the heads better than G2. That's all that one came out. Okay, so round out of nowhere, kind of, for Entropic. Uh, it was looking rough. G2 got the early frags that you felt like they needed to. Killed the Lurker. Had the attack nailed down at long and contained. And just, yeah, Entropic hit their shots. Nice stuff. Alexi B and Hunter and Jack's really struggling. Particularly Alexi B and Hunter. Oh, janky buy from the CTs too. I think they got to do something with this. I don't think they can play a standard round here. Oh, wow. Really quick mid from control from Entropic. Don't know if they managed to get a read on this, how they managed to, but they have. Yeah, this is going to be hard for G2 to deal with, even game with Yeah, there you go. Very, very hard to deal with. Oh, bombs dropped in mid, though. One third in fight. Probably too keen to grab that AK. Now it falls on Nico in CT. I think Hunter was a bit too keen to grab that AK. Nico finding a little gap. Oh, this is hard work. Yeah, he's going to try and head off Elian at the pass. Elian very disciplined there, surprisingly. Thought he was going to go for that peak 100%, but very disciplined there. Uh, he's just watching that. And then I assume... Lackey is watching the door, yeah. Nico set up, man. No way. No, you can't break that setup. That's it. Impossible. You're relying on someone from Entropic to whip there. So, okay. Entropic now get themselves a freebie. Finally push the economy into a tough place for G2. Yeah, really need to see a bit of a step up from G2 for their bottom three fraggers. Probably not getting enough done here. Need at least one of them to step up, I think. But imagine if G2 had a couple of extra rounds, be, be, you know, because they hadn't mismanaged their economy. Oh, wow, G2 just with a mid-rush. Yeah, whatever. Oh, didn't mean to pause. Dunzo. Bit awkward at, at moments, but... And Nico is going to get found. Okay, right, back. Oh, it's not even the best buy for G2, man. The economy, the... Uh... The economy, the utility is going to be a little bit light. It's going to be a little bit light. Yeah, Nico with virtually none. No mollies on like only two mollies. Yeah, this is a little bit wobbly on the on the grenades. So Forrest is going out. Ooh, okay, gets blinded, but he knows one's in pit. Alexi. I'm gonna, I think, leave Crad here and go and take short. X and really so, so good. So, so good from Entropic. No, the gap is gonna be in the defense. Yeah, yeah, just get out, 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 out. Go, 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 fast, fast. And then Crad can push. Yeah, really, really, really good nice stuff from that. Uh, mm, so unfortunate. But the, honestly, that was exactly the right. There they go. Yeah, exactly the right call from Entropic. The fact that G2 were investing so much into fighting long. At best, you have three players who will at the start of the round, and three or two of them are fighting on long. Get up short nice and fast. Let Crad keep himself alive. Be a thorn in the side. Or Forrester, sorry. Keep himself alive. Be a thorn inside. Yeah, amazing round there. This is the best tea round I think we've seen. Really decisive. Exactly the correct call. Oh, it's a 1v1. Jeez. How did this fall into a 1v1? Elliot probably should have had that shot there. Knows exactly where Jax is, though. This is rough for Jax. Yeah, just, just not much Jax can do there, so very, very hard to win. Lackey knows exactly where he is. Jax has no time to reposition, so uh, like Lackey knows exactly where Jax is going to peek from. So nothing Jax can do there, really. Okay, okay, and Tropic building back into this. Uh, G2 have to take another one on the chin. Yeah, this is getting rough. G2 are letting this one get away from them. They'll be feeling um, definitely that they should have done better with this. I'm just going to speed through this round, probably. Yep, free long control. G2 doing a little something, something mid, not really. Just kind of playing passive and hoping Entropic run into their A stack and maybe, just maybe, they can get something done. 
Uh, looks like Entropic are about to come out long. Yeah, they get the kill on Nico. Oh, they're just pausing, waiting for a backstab, and now they go. Swing across. Yeah. They hear all of the, uh, guys. Straightforward. Good observing there, though. Did you see that? Just on Forrester the whole time. Genius, me. I know what's going on in a game of Counter-Strike. Oh, Elian with the long spawn, though. Yes, tell me you're going to go for it, baby. Right, three. If Elian doesn't yet yeah, look, he's like, boys, long spawn, it's time. So, again, Entropic, just a team team effort here. Hunter's picked up a little bit, which is good. LHCB still having a shocker. Yeah, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. No flashes. Oh, oh there he is, boys. Told you. Mate, when you get that spawn as an AWPer, you are euphoric. I'm telling you right now. You're like, oh, oh, like that. Right, so slowing it down from Entropic. They're just making sure no shenanigans happen at long. They're like, long catching us in the side of the head. Look at this, super passive. Crad just chilling, holding B. And then they're going to probably take this long control away from G2. Happy to trade out for it. Just, just, just very committed to this long control. G2. Uh, split 2 and 2. I would probably go for a push somewhere. I would be telling someone to do something. I think G2 are kind of just letting the round come to them here. Which is probably not um, Yeah, And again, Alexi be getting caught on long. G2 have had that a couple of times on the CT side as well. Just getting caught on long um, in transition. Yeah, G2, I don't think their CT or T side has looked particularly convincing on this map, I've got to say. Um, it's not a complete woe. Like, this is definitely something you can include in the map pool. Happy to let this come through as the third and stuff. Happy if the other team picks it, quite frankly, because it's, it's, it seems imminently winnable for G2. But I think they've gotten away with a bit more than they might in a different game. And, yeah, they're starting to look shaky now. Um, I think this is a safe call, honestly. I think this was like a half-hearted gamble that, that Entropic might go B, but yeah, no, this is just going to be, uh, I think, a save. I think it was a half-hearted sort of gamble stack, but knowing that Entropic were probably just going to go up long ago, eh? Um, this was more of a, a an advanced save call. Save call advance. Oh, Monacy tries to line it up too long. Ooh. Uh, what's the buy? Oh my god, why is the economy always so trash for G2? Their economy has just been in the dumps for half of this game, it feels like, man. They've got full loss bonus and they can never buy properly. G2 need to sort their economy management out, man, I'm telling you. There, there is something scuffed about the way G2 manage their economy. What is this half buy? I mean, I guess they've sort of got enough for him. I guess it's again. It's, oh my god, Hunter's just like owned everyone in mid though. Oh my god, Hunter. Yep, yeah, Hunter's just like fucking GG. You just call it there. Hunter just like this should have been a lost round. Should have been fourteen, fourteen. Really like fucking hairy. Economy's not great. Oh, Forrester finds the pick on long though of Nico. Get wrecked, Nico. Okay, this is actually very important. That they've taken this control. G two all in on sort of the B. Yep, yeah, they're gonna push. Push, push tons. They need to. They need to get some info for this info that they've lost out at long. And I think they know now. Yeah, they're sprinting across there. Like they're on long. Get them, boys. G2, you can't just let this one slide. They have to go for this. So, yep, they've got somebody going up short. Monacy, still a bit paranoid. Monacy, Monacy. Uh, but they have Jax all the way out. He needs to slow down and start walking like now. No, he needs to slow down and walk sooner. Yeah, that's peanut brain Jax triumphing there. Jack's letting his peanut brain overcome him. He needed to start walking way sooner then, man. They did not know for certain that Entropic were on long or, like, properly getting up it or anything. They, yeah. Should still be an imminently winnable round because Monacy, Monacy, Mona, 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 got that pick. Yeah, imminently winnable. Ooh. Forrester should yeah, be able to turn this into a 1v1. Oh my word. Oh, Forrester on for the 4k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
strategy to kind of throw around there. A few individual misplays, I think, mainly the Jacks one being pretty egregious. Turns it into a 3v3, suddenly a 4v3 is turned into a 3v3 when probably got better weapons. I hate to call out one guy, but I think Jax has kind of thrown the round there. Needed to start walking a lot sooner. Did not have the info to be fat-footing it around like that. Absolute moon boots on Jax's feet. Just clomp, clomp, clomp. Not the one. Not the one. Right. Modus is still trying his best. Still doing very well. Not getting enough support. Lexi's still having an absolute shocker, man. Nickelback on the orc for the peak. Is he going to get anything? Oh, I don't like the dry peak from the, from Monus either. It feels like G2 are like running out of ideas, man. Like G2 have pretty much had the lead this whole game. And it's felt like they've played with their backs up against the wall more than their Tropic have. Like I, This game is not... It doesn't feel as close as it is in a lot of ways. Like it feels like G2 should have lost this game already. Like, the amount of rounds where I'm like, yeah, this is this is something they can replicate. This is something consistent. This is something I feel like I can see on this map more often than not. I'm seeing more of those rounds from Entropic than I am from G2. Like, that give me faith that Entropic, like, could have this as a map pick, for example. Like, Alexi B's calling on this map I don't think has been the best. I think the economy management has been really strange at points. Another one of these creeps up long for the Tropic. They've, they've kind of gotten better as the game has gone on. And with a player advantage. Oh, this is going to potentially be important though. Jackson Lackey. Oh, but they're already going on A. Lackey needs to have some impact on the other side of the map like now. With how far up they are. Mm. Lackey's not really doing anything. Jack's kind of gambling maybe on the rotate here. Nope. Jax probably needed to gamble on the rotate or try and kill Lackey or something. Lackey's just not been involved in this round, but I guess he's kept Jax honest. Alien finds a kill. Yeah. Oh, Nickelback. Whoa, Nickelback. Why are you dropping CT there? Whoa, 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 Entropic were just like that. Okay, that was a bit of a bizarre one. That was a bit of a bizarre one. Probably Entropic favours because Lackey was keeping Jax at B and it was a 4v3 on A. Um, and then they traded into a favourable situation again. It looked wobbly at points because Lackey was not really having any impact with his lurk. Jax was kind of getting a rotate in so that he could at least fight from CT. But then Entropic traded into a 3v2 and then Nickelback jumps into CT. Why? Look like that should hit. Why he drops into CT, I have no idea. Ah, feck. I forgot to go unavailable or whatever, or away, or invisible on Steam. Right. Uh, okay, so this is the one. Entropic are obviously going to win this round. I, I just feel it. I just feel it. Like, my, my skills of prediction. Um, yeah, I became one with the force, and I've seen it. I've, I've seen it. Hunter's MP9 uh, is going to get piss bugger shit all done. He's, it's just not going on over here? Forrester just being cheeky. So we've fallen back into the standard dust two round. One at long for CT. The T's take mid control. Then they decide what they're doing. Not actually super common to fall back into a, like a heavy long lean. This is probably less common. And they've kind of fallen back into like a, a an approach they would take earlier on in the round, I think. Okay, so Lexi B has been isolated. And cannot get any help. Ooh, Forrester thought he cleared it. He did the lazy half clear. Crad going for a passive approach, trying to catch a rotato patato because he doesn't think anybody knows he's up here. No one knows he's up here, but yeah, this is uncomfortable for the CT. Yeah, there you go. That's the round. Doesn't matter that he's going to get shot in the back. Nico dies. Jax is never getting this 1v3 done. No offense, Jax. Love you long time, but this is not your forte. This requires, uh, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, one of three. Yeah, okay, we're talking now. We're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. Good flash. Yeah, it's so rough. <laughs> Can't really do anything about Ellie in there. If he has a smoke, maybe. Did he have a smoke? I don't know. But if he has a smoke, maybe something, something's doable there. But yeah, not, not in that scenario. <laughs> 
back to waiting and we wait just checking the time half three in case you were wondering what time i'm recording this 3 30 p.m my time just a chiller wednesday afternoon i'm covering uh epl games this evening actually i'm doing furia versus outsiders for hltv covering that one so looking forward to that one actually um gambit i'm just gonna call him gambit wait outsiders isn't gambit outsiders is vp players is gambit Ooh. uh yeah vp started the year off really well kind of hit a, a wobble towards the back end of katavica looked a little bit unconvincing um and then furia have not looked convincing at all this year so interested to see if furia with another bit of a break have, have improved uh, and interested to see where vp look like they're at because at the start of the year up until the the heroic game just before playoffs of katavica it was like damn vp are looking spicy and then yeah they were a little bit they were a little bit they were very underwhelming against heroic in that final group game and then they sucked um on ancient against g2 good mirage really nice exciting close mirage but stuff right any adjustments a big big old mid fight lean thing yeah big 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 mid control being taken they invested a lot in this early mid boost uh fighting mid like maniacs wow yeah just been wrecked they were telegraphing that for so long that was a weird round from Entropic. They just telegraphed that mid fight, and then they were just like, yeah, we're just going to fight, fight. Gave Nico all the time in the world to come up short and swing and peek. Speed through this. Bizarre round, that one. Just a, a weird look. Not not uh, a round we'd seen Entropic run in regulation, so maybe it's just a switch up. They're like, fuck it, first round of OT, let's just try something wacky. Alexi B still fucking struggling down there. He's having a struggle city USA. Look at that though. 33 enemies flashed. I take it all back. He's carrying the game. He's carrying the game. You see that utility? Boy. Madness. Right, so G2 get the first. Yeah, I think Hooch saying, like, what the fuck were you doing that round, boys? That looked like an absolute joke. I think Hooch just being like, what the fuck was that? That wasn't even around. She just all ran mid and died. It was just like, you fucking did a League of Legends Aram. Just everyone. Ooh, fast B play though. This might be a Hooch. No. Damn it. It's fast down into lower, into mid. Yeah, so Hooch is like, look, if you're taking mid control, don't everyone run down suicide, you bellends. The standard Dust 2 round, we've seen it a fair few times because this is how Dust 2 plays out. You get a bunch of these in each half and then you get some gimmick rounds in each half. Ooh, Nico. Oh, he's in. Oh, really good trade from Nickelback. Look like Nico might get a multi-frag there. Are they going to just sit on the short control? Yep, slow it down. Sit on the short control. they got Elian watching top mid for the Rotato Potatoes. Punish them if possible. Three... Aileen for G2, so a rough spot for Monacy if Entropic identify this, which it doesn't look like they are. Oh, it looks like they're going to try and take a long control. This has been working pretty well for them towards the back end of their T half, uh, taking late long. Alexi with it all to do and not having a great game. So I suspect Alexi is probably going to get exposed here. Oh, very good for open. Trade, but that's fine. Good opener. Good opener. Hunter now. The lean. It, oh, they're running back. Oh, they made a lot of sounds as if they were running back. Now running forwards. Back kind of just back on the side there. Almost found by Elian. Crash. G2 did well, honestly. G2 did well to recover that. It, it was looking a little bit rough. When you. Oh, Elian. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, shouldn't have gone for the jump up again. I mean, you know, it's hindsight and all that. But um, unlucky. Good try from Ellie. Good try. Good try. So, well done from G2. Good hold. Putting together a nice little CT half in overtime. Entropic need this, I think, realistically. I don't think you want to give G2 three shots on their T side of just getting it. What round they need. I think that's going to be rough psychologically. For the Entropic, but also really good psychologically for G2. 
I wonder G2 how G2 felt about this game. Like they felt they were getting away with it or not. Like how because to me it feels a little bit like they've been getting away with it in this one and that possibly it this could have not been as close. Crad, good entry. Taking the mid control. Okay, so this is a good look. This is something Carrigan likes to do a lot, getting out those mid doors and putting some pressure that way. Whereas some teams really don't like to do it unless they are actually supposed to do it. Ooh, through the smoke. Good shot from Elian. Yeah, this is going over to probably already out of this one. Yeah, it's just super rough. This is one of those where it's so annoying that you can't just save. Do you know what I mean? Because like you're just never getting anything done in this round. This is just hella rough. They managed to get out mids. So they've done the first part of the uh, of the job, but so much to do. The T's are super set up. Have a smoke down. Have set up all their crossfires. You've got an orb on Monacy. It is not the one, really. Very gimmicky boost. Yeah, already a lot of time tits on that bomb as well. Oh, good entry. Found by Forest State. Yeah, no. Oh my god. Yeah. They, they did well on the retake. It's just they took way too long. It was a good looking retake though for a while. Right. Nicely poised for this second half of OT. Uh, Entropic shut out. Let's go. Oh, they're going an interesting boost for Elian, who is not going to find anything at all. Pretty, pretty passive early approach from G2, putting a couple in tunnels, a couple quite far back at long, maybe expecting one of these aggressive Entropic mid pushes. It looks like that's kind of what they are maybe thinking about. Monacy nearly catches uh, Nickel back up short. And now we settle into the standard dust two. Hinge smoke, short control. If Nico likes to hinge like smoke and Elian falling back into CT. G2 has the hinge control. Nico out in mid. It should be a G2 round. I think they're over committed to mid, yeah. I don't think there was any need to overcommit on mid, just chill out, just to fall back, you've got good map control, get that standard short control, oh, Hunter with a really good entry, wow, Crad is doing work this round, like, this is all on Crad, yeah, wow, his team were trying to throw that round, who got entried on B? Didn't need to be playing so aggressive on B, man, you just got, like, absolutely freebie entry. Good recovery. Uh, all on Crad, that one. That was an absolute big boy Crad round. He knew the G2 were getting bogged down in mid. They were getting stuck in utility. And he was just like, fuck it. We're flying out for the fight. Great play from Crad, to be honest. Yeah, look at this man from Entropic. 24, 24, 23, 23, 22. Absolute team effort, man. Absolute team effort. And at least uh, some of the bottom feeders on G2 have, have recovered a little bit. Monacy with a free pick. That mid fight is so 50-50 now. I don't know how often I'd go for it as a T. I feel like it's so... It used to be T favoured, so you just take that control every time. But it's a bit 50-50 now. Um, well done from Lackey, though, to, to get the, uh, the frag back on Alexi. Alexi getting caught a little bit in no man's land there. Oh, no. That was not one to be repeated. You were going to get your head ripped off there, bro. With the short control, it looks like they're gonna go on this. They are, yeah, making oh, wow. Nico gets wrecked, just run. Telegraph, yeah, it feels like they're um, not, not super comfortable. G2's T sides in particular. I think their CT side is probably like workable, fine, whatever. Not that hard to play CT side on Dust2. But their T side has been. I mean, Dust2 is not too hard to play for me this side, but their T side has been a little bit suspect. Feels like they um, lose confidence like partway through the round and they just go, fuck it, and just ba bash their heads against the wall. They've done it. Th these two rounds, they've done exactly that. They. Got a little bit of traction in mid, and rather than chilling out, being sensible and playing more controlled, they just were like, Muah! and just tried to like brute force it through mid. And then there, 
they run into troubles on shore and rather than like chill out and like do something sensible they just again run their head into the brick wall on shore yeah not not very impressed with this uh g2 g2 sides on this stuff too i think this has been a big problem and lacb like no game no frags for like 85 percent of the game is probably a bit of an issue long term um, especially if Hunter and Jax are going to kind of, like, also be missing for about three quarters of the game. Look back, saw that. Yeah, it throws the nade, but Nico will back off. They both saw each other, so probably not even worth throwing that nade, to be honest. They just see each other again. Just going to trade back these jump spots. Yeah, there you go. Fucking... Jesus Christ. Pro, pro players sometimes, man. Pro players sometimes, man. It's funny. Right. Still sort of looking for it, but more shoulder peaky. Good nade on Wow, he's picking up all that util. That seems to be like a standard thing with the util, dropping a pile of it short A. Oh, Nico's coming though. Nico wants some. Trading util again. G2 getting a little bit low on the clock, and I don't think they know where they want to go yet. Another T round looking not too hot for G2. Yeah, this one is no bueno. Another, they're going to go out mid here because they have no other option. Down to 30 seconds and they haven't really hit a site yet. They've got the entry, but I don't think it matters. They have to go B yet. Forces Nico into a bad drop. I mean, I know I knew what happened in this round, but like G2 did not give themselves a good chance to win it. Right. Well. Well then. Um. Let's uh, just have a little look for people's benefit. So look at this, man. Absolute team effort. Lots of flashes on everyone, too. Um, uh, Hunter was unhappy, immediately left. Much more of a disparity on G2. Um, so how do I feel about that one? Uh, yeah, G2's T-sides did not give me any faith. They only got... They got no T-side rounds in the OT. And then they got a better T-half than I think they deserved on, on this. I think they got away with a little bit early in the game, where a couple of rounds I thought Entropic probably gave themselves a good chance to win. Entropic had a wobbly economy for the start of the game because of basically kind of losing early. Oh, it's a shame I only get the O2T. I wish I could go back and see the others. Um, and then G2 was some really weird economy management uh, in the middle of this half, let Entropic back in. Honestly, even though G2's T side wasn't super convincing, they still probably should have won this game. Like, they, they, it, this should have been, like, at least a 9-6 half, I think, in their favour. And then they have more leeway, obviously, moving on to their CT side. And Tropic were much more convincing for me. Um, I thought their CT sides looked more dynamic and looked like they had a little bit more about them than G2s. And their T sides just looked way more convincing. It looked like they... They understood the nuances, I think, of the T side of Dust2 a little bit better. But also, they just had more conviction about what they were doing in the rounds. It felt like they knew the plan. They were more cohesive as a unit. Um, there's a chance that uh, language barriers is where this kind of comes in. Because I think everyone understands Dust 2. I think it's just execution is kind of the separating factor for a lot of teams on this map. Yeah, I wouldn't be picking Dust2 again too soon if I was G2. I would be saying our T-side is not good enough. I think I'd be working on our T-sides a lot more. I think the T-side needs to be more seamless on Dust2. I think it needs to be... Just quicker in a lot of the stuff they were doing. Or even if they're not going to be quick and have conviction, just more controlled. Like, it, they kind of got stuck in the middle of like hesitating hesitating on a couple of these rounds and then oh we'll run into the brick wall but you hesitated so now you need to just chill and you know wait and get the information and figure out what you're doing yeah not the best t side from dust 2 t, t side from dust 2 t side from g2 on dust 2 fan unlucky <laughs>